We've got a news alert on David Tepper's Appaloosa management. Christina Parts Nevelis is reading through the latest 13F filings. Christina, what's the latest? And what we're seeing, Appaloosa's selling out of several big names, Caesars, Netflix, and Disney, even bucking the trend with semiconductors, selling its entire stake in Micron. Appaloosa also cutting coals from its books, selling over 1.8 million shares. While there is no change to its larger position in Macy's, they still hold about 6 million shares. Macy's earnings are out just uh, on Wednesday before the bell. The company, though, Appaloosa, did sell over 12% of its holdings of Meta. The stock right now, well, pretty much flat uh, to the upside. Unlike other 13Fs, though, there were no uh, buying uh, opportunities in this Q, uh, 13F filing for Q3. Uh, the quarter did end on September 30th, and keep in mind, it does not disclose short positions. Melissa? Christina, thanks. Christina Parts Nevelis, and of course, David Tepper. He's a relatively quick trader, so who knows where he is right now on, on a lot of these positions, unless they're sizable sales or purchases. Karen, what do you make of this? Well, I know you were, she was saying that she mentioned Kohl's and you looked over at I me. I did. I looked over Is at you. Is that why you're coming yes. to me now? I mean, I think Kohl's was, a, you know, he does some risk arbitrage from time to time. And if he, like me and many others, was like, ah, I'm just thoroughly disgusted. I'm out. Um, and I, you know, not going to revisit it. If I wanted other retail exposure, I'd go somewhere else. Yeah. Netflix, I don't know. That's sort of interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, you think about, first of all, David Tepper has is, is also been very swift and nimble in terms of his call on the market. He's been right. I mean, he really has been. Um, when you think about semis, you know, arguably at the end of September, that, that was at least a bottom for now. In other words, semis in the middle of October went on a 30 percent tear. I'm not saying um, that he wasn't right to be fading at that point. And again, Micron is very different than an NVIDIA, which, by the way, has risen 52 percent from almost that date. So um, it, it's just a very interesting time when you think of some of the biggest hedge funds in the world, and he certainly runs one of them. There's some very big and crowded trades that also, you know, you have to keep your eye on as an investor. And some of these, that's just been the story of just very crowded trades. Yeah, interesting that he stuck by his um, holdings of Macy's, which is a sizable position, Guy. I don't know wh how you think about that. Maybe looking for an activist to jump in, you know, mm -hmm. can maybe rationalize it on valuation. I, I don't think about it. I'll tell you, though, you know, Netflix, just looking at the, the calendar and where the stock is traded from, looks like he did extraordinarily well in that. But the fact that he's blowing out a micron, I think, is pretty interesting. A stock that went from 90 down to mid 50s, 60 bucks now, that clearly wasn't a winner, which is fine. I mean, we all have bad trades, but the fact that he's pulling the ripcord on micron in this environment, to me, is a little interesting. 